So it was so the extra hair. Oh, oh my god. Well, <laughs> I don't know for sure that it was just the hair, but yeah, for nice whatever reason, reason we couldn't get working with her. So having less hair helps. Okay. <laughs> so you're competitive. It makes it easier. Yeah, but in theory, you should be able to use this even if you have lots of hair. And we have. Yeah, and, and you see if you used it lots. I mean, you, you've used it at least twice. Because you used it on the, on the night when we had uh, rent over, too. Okay, you should be finicky to it. That's it. I think I was sitting too far. But anyways, I've got good signal now. So let's see what we can do. First thing, let's see first of all if it knows that I'm blinking. So blink. It doesn't have a guy's face on a sim. You have a lot of makeup on. You're winking a lot. There you go. Yes, he's right. Okay, I'm getting relatively consistent blinks, so we'll go with that. It's never going to be perfect. I'm going to turn on the mesh later. Then I'm also going to turn on a program that's called Emo Key, which will emulate a mouse click when I blink. Hopefully. Set it to clenching your jaw or winking or whichever kind of facial emotions that it can. You could even make it like your eyebrows going. No, what I'm saying, like, you know, with the, you know, you can. <laughs> oh, let, right let, versus left. Yeah, yeah left. I don't think it's oh, that. Right, uh, right, right link, left. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm going to click on one of the top stars. If you can get to it, there's a learning curve. <laughs> <laughs> It takes time, guys. But when you're sitting, like, we, we normally do this in front of our TV. It's After all, we're not much younger. Because it's a smaller screen, it's so much more mm -hmm. inner, like, it's a lot easier. Well, it's not going to be anything you learn. You've got to find it, you've got to slowly learn it. Mm -hmm. Get better and better. Like, if you're really careful, what the like, way you move. Yeah. Yes, so, you know, you're going to be going home tomorrow and using this as an effective way to browse the web. See, this you're, is on the father of two, but they only had her set up on the one side. The officer that was killed last night, yesterday. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, you yeah, so you can scroll up. Uh, the police right. officer was killed with, by a student. Go back to the tab. Friend, uh -huh. Moron in yeah. Toronto. Oh, gosh. Um, in the middle of late last, the, not last night, but the day, you know. So that's how it works. Guys, there's some snow cover, but it's his vehicle. It's not a moron, and it's just in no way. Jumped into his vehicle, and it was crazy. And what? He to a, read your life? A, a police officer. Like paycheck. And he raised his thoughts. And they keep saying, and on there it says father of two. But then on there it says the only okay, yes. so, two year old son. So sorry, I'll, I'll continue on here. Um, no worries. All right, so so these are sort of the basic things that can detect. Um, blinking, winking, raising brow, furrowing brow. So let's let's try a couple of these out. So um, you see the smile thing? I'm gonna try to smile. It's already smiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Clenching. It does well with clenching. Oh, there's usually. a smile. See? Smile. Okay, unsmile. All right, no smile. It won't That's why. Maybe like a singer. See, there's a little bit of delay. Yeah, there's a little one second delay. So you can see where I spot there. Um, clenching your teeth. Come on. Oh, the there we go. Last second. Yeah, so you see a little bit of clenching there. Mm -hmm. um, it's thinking that I'm laughing, although I'm not. So you're not. <laughs> Yeah, so internally. Again, you can train this to make it more accurate. Right out of the box, it's not entirely accurate. 
Now this thing here is kind of cool. This is called the effective suite. And this actually works pretty good for the most part. Um, these four lines, the red one is called engagement. The blue one is called frustration, which is probably like peeking at the <laughs> Green is called meditation, which I've never been able to let go of the center line. I'm just not good at meditating. Mel's really good. She can get it to real, like, right off to the top. Um, and then the black is something called instantaneous excitement. So for instance, if I'm like really excited by something and I move like all around and I'm really like, it's going up. Yeah. You'll notice that it's going up. You right? like it. Yeah. You're a six. See how again it's a bit of a delay, but look at that excitement. How it peaked when I was sort of well, you excited. excited by it. And now I'm stuck. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now I'm now I'm less excited. Now I'm just kind of. <laughs> is it just the jury of your head? Is it? Is that, is it no, no, no. This. This is. Okay. This has nothing to do with the gyro. Okay. Um, nothing to do with anything except my actual brain waves. Like okay. Can you sit down? Waves. Sit down. Close your eyes and think of something exciting. I'm not, <laughs> actually, no. What I'm, what I'm going to do is show you the meditation. And I'm horrible at this, but at least you'll you'll see a difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down, face this way, Green. close my eyes, and try to be zen. I'm not very good at it, but. Hopefully, hopefully what we're going to see. What's the blue one? What color? Blue Black. is frustration. Blue is frustration. Blue is frustration. Blue is frustration. That is cool. Yeah. So, so which one? Which one? Is so the Black. green line, one is going to be flat. Green. Green, green is That's meditation. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, you're excited. You're, you're excited. excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Green is meditation. I'm hoping that that green line is going to start going up. And the other should But I'm not going to watch it. So, okay. so, the other should so I try to get the quiet though so I can actually like meditate. So quietly okay. watch and hope that the green line goes up. Okay, here it goes. Deep breath. But no signal. Uh, but it was it didn't go off by the line. If I didn't have a signal, it was It just started moving and then all of a sudden the signal got lost. Oh, it worked a little bit. So how come though when you're not doing okay, the Zen thing, okay. the, the the green line isn't all the way at the bottom? Um, because okay. you want, like, the green will go yeah. high. Yeah. It's, <laughs> like, it's, no, the that, green is meditation. Yeah, yeah, you're not meditating. Why is it like a bottle? Okay, Zen, when you're not, Zen, 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 Zen demo part two. Hopefully we won't lose we'll signals. I think it's just like a calming thing. Okay, okay. we're going to try for Zen. Try for Zen. Why isn't the green line at the bottom when you're not meditating? I don't know. <laughs> See, I, I guess maybe that's like a sort of a base level Zen sort of thing. What's the yellow graph? The slower graph. The yellow one is long term excitement. So it's actually it's kind of like the instantaneous excitement, but averaged over a long period of time. Can you yeah. see the alpha, beta, gamma? Can you see it? Yes, yeah, since this is a research device, um, I can actually bring up um, a emotive test. You can actually get the raw data from this, um, which, is, which is pretty interesting to see. Okay. I'm trying to think which you make a huge amount of data. It's an insane amount of data, and it's really hard to interpret. Here is the raw data. 
So when you're writing an algorithm to figure out what this all means, that is the data that you're dealing with. Like, can, can, you use, can you use this for a light attack? In theory, from what I've from what I've read and what I know, though, lie detectors are actually not all that accurate. Right. Um, the commercial applications that I see for the effective sweep, which is the, this emotional detection, uh, is a the whole meditation thing. I mean, obviously, you know, people learning how to meditate and relax correctly is, is big business. Um, the other thing is in advertising um, or just like focus groups, right? Say you can sit a bunch of people in front of a new advertisement, right? And see collectively, on average, how they feel. And, and match that up with the timeline of a one minute ad, right? Say you can see, oh, you know, at 32 seconds, they were all really excited. So that is a huge application for this. I, I think it is. Sounds pretty evil. Come on, Seth. Oh, no, it would be willing for it. I think this is software would have an audio cue you can't tell any of those four graphs to a tone so you can hear them without looking at the screen? Um, there's no functionality to do that right now, but it has a developer API um, that lets you do anything you want with this information. So there's a whole ecosystem of developers that are coming up with new and interesting things to do with the emotion. You have other software, you have other bits of software, and then you buy the work that got you to do stuff the same. Uh, not that I can run on my laptop, unfortunately. It's a little underpowered. But uh, there's, there's games and that kind of thing. Yeah, on my living room computer, uh, there's a game. And you can actually see on the YouTube stuff that I link to, um, screenshots of, of the game 